hi everyone welcome back to my channel it has been a long time coming but this is the next installment to my bedroom renovation vlog series i think this is the penultimate vlog there are still a few things that need changing but they're more really basic like decorative things so nearly all of the furniture is in um and i've got a few little accessories to show you as you can see little sneaky peek a big piece of furniture has arrived so many changes that have happened over the past couple of weeks in this room and it is looking so great so i'm not gonna lie i filmed the clips you're about to watch a long time ago like a couple of weeks ago i don't really remember what i said or whether it's like a succinct kind of put together vlog if you haven't watched the two previous vlogs from this series make sure you do and the next video you guys see is going to be the before and the afters and the finishing touches so first thing i want to show you is definitely the biggest change and the thing that i am so thrilled with like i can't even describe how in love with this area of my room i am so this is new this desk I bought off of Laradu and Tim really kindly, because he's incredible, put it together for me. It just fits perfectly and looks so great. I really wanted some kind of decorative storage. So these drawers actually have a good amount of storage. Like I finally have a home for my fake tan and I wanted an area where I can A, do my hair and be um if say tim was in a meeting and i needed to do some work i could come bring my laptop down here and use this as a desk and he can do the same if i need to film upstairs so it's kind of like a secondary workspace neither of us really want to work in our bedroom but it's like a if we need to kind of situation and it's also a place for my perfumes and just for some pretty decorative things to bring some warmth and some wood into the room as well as obviously much needed storage down here i got this little basket from h&m and this is where i've kept all of my hair tools and i am loving having all my hair stuff in one place because i've never really i'll show you <laughs> hi because i've never really had a home for all of my hair tools they all just kind of you know they're in my room they're in my office they've never really had a place to go so i'm so so happy that they all just live there and so far i've kept it really neat and it's been two weeks so <laughs> that's a pretty good role for me and then yeah like my most used kind of styling products some of my go-to perfume um the products i use when my hair's wet we have a tin Ah! <laughs> Hello. Hi. I gave you credit for building it. Oh yeah, I did, didn't I? You did. Very I good. I put a screw in, so maybe it's just gonna like... <laughs> <laughs> let's, hope, yeah. let's hope not. That is probably the biggest change that has happened. Also, so this isn't gonna live here. This was upstairs and it is gonna be in a different part. It is gonna be in this room, but it's not gonna be here. But I wanted to show you this lamp i bought this lamp off of amazon and i loved the base but i didn't like the shade it was just like a cream shade so i actually diy'd this and i'm going to insert the clips of me doing that now okay so for this i'm literally going to do this on my bed this could go really badly i really love these lamps you know the ones that are like round um like like bracelets they can be really expensive so i picked this one up off of amazon and it really wasn't that expensive at all i think that the base itself looks more expensive than it was so this is the lampshade that the lamp came with it matches it obviously it's just a plain cream lamp and it's fine it's nice enough and no complaints about a cream lamp but i saw mckenna diy a lamp shade with jute twine basically what she did and she made it look really freaking easy so if it isn't i'm gonna be pissed she basically just wrapped the twine vertically all the way around and it's gonna take me a little while i think i've got a meeting in an hour and a half so my goal is to be done by the time i've got a meeting and i just think it would look really nice with this face that's what i'm gonna do I'm gonna DIY my lampshade. I'm gonna use super glue. I don't know what she used. She probably used a hot glue gun or something. Let me zoom you in. I'm gonna put some tunes on 
and let's hope for the best. So this twine is also from Amazon, like, and this was not expensive at all. Let's give it a go, shall we, fellas? So this is the general gist, okay? This is four wraps around. This is gonna take some time. I just realized I didn't take a before photo. So I'm gonna do that in the morning. The stars glows bright, the summer's old. In the misty bright moonlight, I were told. When the storm is raging in your head. When you feel there's nothing more. and I have started cutting a really long piece, folding it in half and double rounding. So it's taking me half the amount of time. So I've actually started to make some serious progress. I've got enough twine, I think. The thing I'm worried about is actually the glue. I think I don't have enough glue. But I just went and showed Tim and he was like, that looks sick. I was like, I know, it does. It wasn't my idea, but I'm very pleased with it. I'm definitely not gonna be done in time for my meeting with my manager. So this will uh, funnel into the afternoon as well, but hey, you know, no time like a pandemic to get crafty. On you go. In the misty bright moonlight I were told When the storm is raging in your head When you feel there's nothing more <laughs> one more little patch to go but i think this looks so good like i am really really proud of this it's taken me longer than i thought it would and i've used up nearly all my glue but just so i look at this every day and i'm like i made that it's worth it look at that do you guys not think that looks so good i am so pleased with this i'm just gonna pop it on the base Oh my god. How good does that look? That is so good. Yay, yay. That's one thing done today. We're back. Okay, so that's how I made it. Such a nice thing to have in the background. The next big thing is I got a new headboard. Yes, I know the art is being covered. That is going to be in the next vlog. I'm going to change some things around. The headboard is what we're talking about. So this was also from Lara Du and I love it. It's actually a sun. So it's like a sunrise sunset bed. Um, obviously my cushions cover it, but I just love rattan. It looks so boho. It just adds such a lovely like bohemian vibe. It looks so nice next to the brick and I'm just so thrilled with it. That's the second update. Here is the next update. It is this tiny little table. I got this off of Etsy. I'll link it down below or I'll link the seller down below. Um, I really like the wood. It matches the old kind of G-plan furniture that my grandma gave me but it's this cool kind of woven top because Tim needed a side table but he doesn't need like a proper, he literally just puts his glass of water there. <laughs> every night and so he needed somewhere because he couldn't just put it on here and i like that it gives this plant a little bit of height so yeah the new bed frame the new little side table there and finally i have a question for you guys so given now what we know so lots of black lines and wood right black lines and wood I'm gonna have quite a lot of brass accents in this room. So, going to my beautiful chest of drawers, we've got two options for, sorry, my camera's freaking out. We have two options, okay, for handles. Do we keep the original black or do we go for brass little T-bar ones? Which do you guys think, which do you prefer? 
let me know and I will change them because these were just off of Amazon. They were really, really inexpensive. So if I don't end up using them, I'll keep them because if I ever wanted to change this up, it completely changes the vibe of the drawers, in my opinion. I'm leaning towards the gold, you know, but the black goes with all the black details, but I feel like this makes it a little bit softer. So let me know, which do you prefer? Obviously, you guys have now seen the wardrobe, which is still just my favorite thing in the entire world. This shelf came out of my wardrobe and is going into my larder. And this rail, I'm actually gonna keep in this room. So this is gonna be moved. And that is probably gonna go over there. This little situation is gonna move. There's art for over here. I'm gonna dress this. This is gonna get sorted. And then these all need to go to the charity shop. Get rid of the decorating supplies. This is changing. I'm swapping this out. The rug has arrived, so that is going down probably this week. I'm gonna do a big clean um, and clean the floors again and everything like that. So that when I do the grand reveal, it is spotless and beautiful. The biggest thing is everything has got a home now. My perfumes now have a home. I've never had someone to put my perfume before. <laughs> and I have quite a lot of perfume. Um, my hair products, I've never had a home before. Cards, like birthday cards, Christmas cards, thank you cards. I've never had a play, I, they, I just keep them in a plastic bag in my office. They now live in here. So if I need to write a card, I can do it right here. Really, really happy with all of the changes that have been made so far. I've got some gorgeous art on its way to put on the walls. Um, I can't wait to get the rug down. That is gonna make such a huge difference. I'm really happy with how it's looking. Thought I'd show you just this quick little update of everything that's going on in here. We're in the kind of messy stage where we need to get stuff out. But here is where we are at at the moment. Just needs to be cleared out, decorated, like final finishing touches, and then it's done. So let me know what you think and make sure you let me know if you like the brass or the black drawers, the knobs on the drawers, let me know which you prefer. So thrilled with how it's looking and I can't wait for you guys to see the finished result. I can see it in my head. I'm so happy with how it looks in my brain. If it, if it turns out half as well as the wardrobe did, then we're in for a win. This is the next area getting tackled. <sighs> it's just constant, it never ends. It's like it moves from room to room, as well as my garden. I hope you enjoyed the little DIY. If you'd like to see more little mini DIYs like that, then let me know. I'd love to do more because it was super, super fun. Wasn't my original idea, but I really enjoyed doing it. I will link McKenna's video down below where she shows you how to do it probably better than me <laughs> so yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video